Hello, everybody, and welcome to Peglin. They've released a brand new update, bringing us up to version 0.9.47, but they've added a new status effect called Transferency and a few new orbs for round roll and uh, rare, uh, rare relics, as well as some common relics and even a new mini boss. So hopefully we can find one of those uh, new items along the way here in our journey definitely gonna jump in as round roll uh but don't think i'm gonna do crucible we're just gonna check it out see what this new update entails and i think we'll go ahead and do uh well done steak we'll get some extra health when reloading probably shouldn't need it here on uh the easiest difficulty on crucible zero Go ahead and speed us up a little bit so we're not all slowed down. Here we go, taking out some slimes. Oh, I'm disappointed that I didn't, uh, that I didn't cause him to die in one shot. That one would have. Evasive maneuver orb. So, yeah, this is a new one for the round roll. Grants 10 ball illusion after attacking on a critical hit, gain two times the ball illusion, can target any enemy. Uh, I think it's actually been around for a little while, but I took a little bit of a break. Oof. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I took a bit of a break from Peglin for a while while they did a few updates, so I definitely missed some stuff. That's a pretty cool addition, if you ask me. I, I love having that instead of the dagger. Uh, the dagger just seemed a little boring. Oh, damn it. Not great. What's that? So enemies affected by exploitable receive 10% extra damage per stack on critical attacks. So I definitely want to crit on this one. There we go. You're dead. And bam. Got the refresh. Got the crit. And you're dead too. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead. I'll upgrade my evasive maneuver orb. Uh, sure, why not? Head on this way to the question mark. See what we got there. Then I'll hit up the chest. You dicks. Is that a hey, transparency? Here's one of the new the uh, new things they just added. Uh, percentage chance for the projectile damage. Percentage X percent of projectile damage pierces through enemies with transparency X. So 20% of the projectile damage is going to pass to the guy behind, which is great that it starts at 20. I kind of almost expect it to start at like one. It didn't matter. Still didn't get to see it. That's okay. There we go. There we go. Darkness Eater Ball. I like the new uh, art for the Eater Ball. Eater Ball? Not sure. It's been fact just sting. Uh, ooh, I like the extra effect on crit. I think that's a good change. Does it do extra damage or anything? Mm. Ooh, 15 blind on hit does seem good. I'm going to take it. Fuck it. Why not? Why not? There we go. Got a good amount of gold there. Every shot fired has a two times ball illusion percent chance to trigger a crit. All right. So I want to get lots and lots of ball illusion. Kind of already knew that, but good to know. Good to know. All right. Darkness Edder Ball. That's a lot of damage, actually. 116. Come on, hit that refresh, you dick. What a dick of a ball. All right, you get killed by Le Poison. Another 100 damage. I'm doing good damage. 
It's definitely not the issue. Slash. All right, so I got 15 ball illusion. So then this now, every shot fired has a 30% chance to trigger a crit. That's the way I'm reading it anyway. That one did not trigger a crit. So now it's got a 60% chance to trigger a crit. Well, there goes another plant. You're up. Okay. Um, yeah, so that time it triggered a crit. And killed him. Spin point. This ball is affected by spin S two times. Uh, and, or ballad, which grants a spin S after attacking. I do like the sound of that, especially because I have the... Uh, thing that helps me actually I don't want to spend anymore uh, Whenever you lo lose health deal two times that amount to all enemies or heroes backpack orbs receive plus one plus two For every following connected orb of the same type. I think we're gonna go with the ring of Ign indignation Just punish anybody who wants to hurt me You're not allowed to hurt me All right, there we go definitely gonna go to the chest Strange mirror where shadows flickering in the reflection. You're drawn closer and closer until your nose is nearly touching the glass. The shadows are speaking a language you've never heard before, but you understand their offer. Let's just remove one orb. Get rid of one of these pebbles. You shitty ass pebbles. All right. I mean, I'm really not unhappy with either choice, but the chest does give me a free relic, whereas I'll have to buy the relic in the store. Cool. I'm good with that. There's another shop down here. Whenever you heal, deal three times recovered health as damage to the targeted enemy. Okay, cool. So now I, oops, that was a bad decision. No, didn't really matter. Never mind. I was going to say that was a bad decision, but it didn't really matter. All right, well, this will give me some spin S even if I didn't hit the crit. I did uh, blow up a bomb. That's pretty damn cool. There we go. This will give me 30 ball illusion. Nice. And then now I have extra crit chance. 60% chance apparently. I'm assuming the bats are immune to blind. They are, but not to transferency, but I would assume the transferency doesn't really work on them. Because of the angle, you need a grabby hand, I think it's called. And does uh, ball illusion go away? It's halved after an attack is, av is avoided. Okay. I didn't mean to right click there. I didn't mean to do it, I swear. Okay, all right, there we go, come on. All right, he's dead. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to save my money because we got a shop coming up. Uh, we do want to make sure we go this way, please. Thank you. Hey, speaking of grabby hand, we got grabby hand right there. Head on down to the gold shop. Buy us a, ooh, reduce, refuse, recycle. Bombs detonated while navigating provide five gold. I do like the sound of that. I lose circle every nine hit, every nine pegs hit gain five ball illusion. Every one gold hit gain three ball illusion. That seems good. Uh, it never really gets better though. As far as damage goes. We're getting a bunch of ball illusion. I guess the survivability alone. I will take, I'll take that and I'll take the the new relic that I haven't had before, if if only to fill out my uh, relic thing back at the back at the menu, fill out my custom relic selection. Probably got a bunch of shit in there that I haven't gotten now. All right, so there we go. Should hopefully get a decent amount of ball illusion from this. Nice, actually, twenty nine. I'll take it. 
So that, if I'm reading the thing correctly, means I should get 60%, uh, essentially 60% chance to crit on every shot. Two times ball illusion percent chance. Yeah, my ball illusion is 29, so it should be 58. There's a crit. Okay. All right, and now it's 59, so I have over 100% crit chance? Yeah, I do. Wow, that's fucking busted. I'm not complaining, but I auto crit now. Uh, okay, <laughs> interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade an orb. Uh, probably gonna do, probably do finesse because we're gonna be critting so much. We want to make sure we're doing a lot of damage when we crit. And then we can continue on. And blow those up. Get some cash. Get that. Uh, oh, we also avoid damage. Oh, I meant to hit the bomb. We also avoid damage from ball illusion at the end there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, fuck them up. Get them all. All right, 31 ball illusion. We're at 60 now. And we already get the evasive maneuver orb, which gets us ball illusion. So this should be a bunch because this will be another 30. That puts us at 61. That gives us the 100% crit chance we're looking for. Fuck yes. No, thank you, crit. And then ballad, 100% crit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think that actually wins. Fuck yes. All right, keep upgrading ballad, get it up to three. And you know what? I'm gonna upgrade evasive maneuver orb two. So we'll be getting 40 ball illusion on every time we crit with that thing. And uh, yeah, we still got 30% chance to avoid damage and I get uh, five gold for every bomb I detonate during navigation. So, all right, I am gonna offer up the pebble and increase my Elu circle. Let's go. Even more fucking ball illusion. Yes, yes. Oh, we're up to 67. Oh, one more and we would have been 69. That would have been nice. Anyway, blind won't work on a tree or a mole, but it's good damage. So we'll use it anyway. Oh, you picked a wrong time to come see me, friend. You picked a bad time to come see me, friend. And I dodge you. Hell yeah. All right, Ballad now is going to get me another three spinness. And kill that guy. Beautiful. Hey, I took damage. I didn't know I was allowed to take damage. Who said you could hurt me? Ow. You hurt me again. Anyway. Time to kill some plants. And then do this. Stack up some more Ballusion, back up to 56, and then do this. This should get me to 96, I think. Yeah. Really should have gotten rid of that, but I mean, when you're doing 10 damage with it regardless, it's pretty fucking good. All right, we'll upgrade Elu Circle the final time, and then also do Edder Ball. And let's see, all bombs replace with red bombs and deal two times damage. Summons a round squirrel into the pegboard whenever 30 pegs are hit but destroyed after 100 uses, or all pegs have durable. Hmm. I think... I think I'll go with all pegs have durable because there's I have a few pegs or orbs already that 
want to hit multiple pegs. So then now they'll be able to hit multiple pegs multiple times, uh, like a loose circle, for example. So I'm up to 80 ball illusion right off the bat. Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching the video today. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers and we're getting closer every day. We can't do it without your help. If you'd like to help the channel more directly, you can join a YouTube membership by clicking the link in the description, getting access to the member exclusive discord, early access to videos and a shout out in every video like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob, for your continued support. I'll let you get back to the video and I hope you're all having a great rest of your day. See ya. And then now we got Ballad. Gonna roll around for a little while. There we go. I got three spinets. Another refresh there. All right, that kills the lead guy. And now we got our... I mean, everything's an auto crit. I don't know why I'm waiting for the crit to come up. Really, I should be avoiding the crits because they're less damage. Okay. What we really need to do, actually, we're kind of getting screwed by the gift that keeps on giving because we really need to blow up these bombs. That's the best way to get through this level. Come on. Damn it. Some transferency on those, uh, on those bombs would be nice. I like that the helmets now have different... Uh, different details for each of the different helmets. That's pretty cool. I like that feature a lot. All right, come on. Bam, got him. All right, glass half ball applies 10 transparency on hit. Okay, I mean, yeah, let's do it. At level three, it's 30 transparency. Cool. Uh, and then we'll upgrade you right now. And then we will. Ooh. I think I might just hug the left, honestly. Just hug in the left. We'll see what fate gives us. There we go. Got 10 more coins, though. So that's worth it. If you ask me. All right, we got the crit. That was the important part. So we can get a lot of illusion. That gives us 40 from the uh, evasive maneuver orb right off the bat. Oof. And then come on. All right, this is a pretty good attack here. Pretty good. If we can get, we got a couple bombs, I think. Uh, yeah, so we take out the lead guy, at least, the archer there. And then that gives us a little bit of time. I mean, we're auto-critting, so that's good. Oh, we got another archer out there. Okay, well, we'll kill, we'll kill the knight. Uh, it'd be nice to have some transparency on the knight so we could get them both, but that's okay. All right, headed here. The archer missed anyway because of our ball illusion. And we got a bomb off. Two bombs off. Fuck yes. A and enough to finish him off. Hell yes. Okay. Um, what can I upgrade? I can upgrade glass half ball or darkness eater ball. I mean, this, like, 15% chance. Yeah, I mean... I think we can go ahead and do that and then continue on and I will keep an eye out for ooh redoublet whenever you evade an attack using ball illusion convert two pegs to crit pegs I don't know that that's good for me honestly it could be later if I get the right things though so I'm gonna go for it it's also new I haven't gotten it so again it kind of helps fill out that uh Oh, the catalog of... God damn it, that sucks. The catalog of relics or whatever. All right, we got transferency here. Let's fucking go. 
and it just destroyed the shield anyway. Perfect. Maybe shields don't have as much health as they used to. Uh, I don't really want that. And then there we go. Come on, get the crit, get the crit, get the crit, you bastard. Okay. Few ball losing there, got up to 50, get everything up to an auto crit at least. Reloading. You can't see me. Oh wait, you're dead. <laughs> Damn, that eater ball does so much damage, man. Like it doesn't even matter that it blinds people, it just fucking murders them. That's how it blinds them. It closes their eyes forever. It has nothing to do with their eyesight. They're just incapable of absorbing information anymore because they're dead. God damn, fucking stone doing almost 200 damage. Okay, transferency orb. Do we get to actually use you for something? There we go. 30% of the damage from this is going behind to the shield, I guess. Oh no, because that wasn't a projectile. God damn it. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's some good damage. And 79 ball illusion. All right. Beautiful. I bet ball illusion probably works. Does it say all sources of damage? Avoid an incoming attack. Okay, so it doesn't work on like um, red bombs, is what it sounds like. But it all it works on misnavigation. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe I should have taken that one that. Uh, crit attacks fire from behind. Refresh your orb. Blah 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 blah. Okay, uh, yeah, maybe I should have taken that one that would have given me, uh... Why can't I think of the fucking word? Oh, well. You, when you find another Peglin intensely surveying the area, hello, I'm Haglin. Have we met before? Yes, we have, Haglin. Uh, can you remove this guy? Ooh, new inventory, Haglin squeals. Okay, okay. Gonna be able to shoot right through this mirror here. Actually, you might be dead anyway. Yeah, you're dead probably. Well, maybe not, actually. Just barely alive. And this again is not a fucking god damn it. I should have targeted the other mirror with it. Ooh, that actually works out well. There we go. And hopefully we can get like 300 oh never mind super easy to do i hope we get the relic that lets us do additional damage every time we hit a crit every extra time we hit a crit i should say since we are basically infinite damage infinite crits i should say hey there we go got him beautiful let me go ahead and heal here actually and then continue on and I think we can take on a mini boss. I think we can take on a mini boss. We took on the plants in the first act, no problem. And I feel way stronger now than I was then. Uh, let's go ahead and hit those two. Want to get a good amount of oh, a hundred ball illusion right off the fucking bat. Hell yes. Uh, but it did work immediately. Thankfully, Ballad is one of our first orbs up, so we get that three spin S extra damage for everything. And then uh, everything should be a crit as well. Still. Good damage. Fuck yes, really good damage. And then we can get more Ball Illusion here. So we get us basically back up to 190 to be exact. Uh, but that's a lot of damage, actually. With the increase, that just kills. Fuck. Uh, I'm going to save my cash because I'm getting close to that shop. Every 30 hit is converted or pegs have a 7% chance to refresh into bombs. 
Ooh, I think we do every 30 because we have gift that keeps on giving. So it's uh, more likely, it's more likely that those, yes, fuck yeah. Uh, that I'm going to hit pegs multiple times. Refreshes the board on every reload. Okay, cool. And on this way, don't want to go down that middle path because then we miss out on the chest and the shop. Deal extra damage the longer your orbs are in flight. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And here we are. Another fight. Imagine that. Imagine having to fight our way through a castle for some reason. Just because we're a goblin. Or peglin, I should say. There's 100 ball illusion and a bunch of dead enemies. Cleric comes out like, hey guys, how you doing? Here for the party. The party is in your coffin. Why am I coughing? I feel pretty good. I don't think I have a cold. You realize all this has been a game. You're not real at all. You're just fake knights shooting at a fake goblin character. I'm going to give the NPCs a complex. All right, well, there's a, there's a dead guy. Ball lightning. I love the look of ball lightning now. Uh, we don't really need to, we don't really need any of that. We'll just continue and we'll go down to a shop and we'll blow up a bomb before we go to get an extra five gold for no particular reason. Uh, definitely want to go bomb baton. Wait, what the fuck are you? Spinny bank cannot activate coins. Multiple multiplies the coins on each unique coin peg hit by two times. Deals plus one X held coin damage. Deals one. So then. Like right now it would do 340 damage. Is that what I'm reading? So, so I'm buying that, I'm buying this, and then I'm not spending any more money. That's the way I'm reading it. I, and it didn't say use once. Didn't say it's a one-time use. Ooh, these guys got a little bit of a color palette change. They're kind of like blue now. All right, definitely want to get down to the blind and get myself some more ball illusion. Both of those are going to be huge. Ugh. Well, I didn't really care about the damage there. I just needed to make sure I got some blind on that guy. And uh, yeah, I mean, I need to. I need to get that thing out there. So is that going to do now 109? Yeah. Does 109. Fucking A. All right, 55% ball illusion. Uh, that sucks. I mean, it's 100% crit chance, but I would like to have more health than this. That would be pretty fucking cool, actually. Okay, all right, this should be an auto crit. So this will give me another 40 ball illusion. So that puts me at 95. So I'll automatically avoid the next attack, no matter what. No matter what, I'm already going to avoid the next attack. Get some extra coins here. This should be good damage, too, because they've got the extra 10% uh, extra damage. And then I don't know why I'm hitting the crit. We get an auto crit anyway. This ball illusion, we're already at 100. So that doesn't even do anything either. But you know what? That damage kills. That damage motherfucking kills. Get out of here, Ballista. What the hell do you think this is? Get the fuck out of here. We're upgrading everything today. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take... Uh, you can no longer attain coins in battle, but your current shot's total damage is dealt to, to the target. 
enemy every three coins you collect no thank you i'm going for sealed conviction given everything plus two plus two we lose an orb discard but all our orbs are fucking awesome we don't care about that okay okay headed towards the right side i see a chest right there and we got a ballad right off the bat get a little spin ness boost uh if we can deal 500 damage here then we don't need to worry about i think we yeah i think we got it bam we don't take any reflection damage on that one continue on and then get some coins out of the deal oh you suck you suck again there's 10 more coins 15 20 love 25 love that one that makes the uh, bombs give me coins it's huge it's a huge amount of coins all right go ahead and pull one of those start doubling the amount of coins that coin pegs give love that that's first to be honest with you and now we do 127 or 350 because two times that's right because it's uh it's level three now That's interesting. It doesn't give you the two coins. It gives you one coin and turns it back to a normal one. So then you could theoretically use the piggy to uh, turn it into two coins again. That's an interesting little uh, timing, the way the way the timing works on that. And that should kill everything. Let's go. Nope, don't want any of that. Uh, I do want this freaking gold, though only got a few that's okay oh what was i thinking i was supposed to go to the right i wasn't even paying attention uh i don't really want an orb um i don't really need the gold so i'm just gonna leave and not uh not make you mad friend i guess i'm just letting fate decide things for me today there's a shop down there we'll head towards the shop Okay, come on, Ballusion, help me out. Damn, it didn't help me out. It didn't help me out at all. Oh, God damn it, that was even worse. I was trying to hit the bomb there, but being a little stupid about it. To be fair, I was being a little stupid about it. Okay. There's another bomb hit. More bombs hit. Yeah, took that mirror out and now it's pig time. Uh, wait, the pig, oh, the pig does damage now because it's 2-2. Two, two. Plus then it also does. They ended the fight with the weather vane still there. That's interesting. You used to have to also kill the weather vane. That is an interesting change. And seemingly nowhere in Inferno. No, I don't want uh, Inferno orbs. They may have gotten changed, I guess, but I don't want them in the state I remember them in, that's for sure. Ambiguous Elm Amulet. Wall bounces contribute to damage. There you go. Jump in the shop. See what we can buy for $185. Is this your card? On discard, gain ball illusion equal to two times the discarded orbs crit damage. Okay, interesting, interesting. Uh, that one I saw earlier. We'll buy it just because we don't have it already. Uh, but then I think we will also go ahead and do a short few. Well, I don't want to spend too much money because I want my pig to still be worth a good amount. Uh, and I guess we'll go. Doesn't really matter here. So we're going to go to the second path from left eventually down this way. Uh, we won't see a shop that way. Whenever you evade an attack using ball illusion, gain one spinesse. Hey, and we have that weapon too. Ooh, do we get it? Do we get it? If we had bought short fuse, we would have gotten it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we'll, if we come down here, we'll be able to get a free relic out of a chest. 
which will let us keep our money so then our pig will be worth more. I think that is importante in the words of Peggy Hill. Oh, fuck you. Come on. Attack faster. There we go. There's a bomb. There's two bombs. Oh, that kills a bunch. Yeah, just one spider left now. After this, I am definitely going to spend a little bit of cash to... I'm going to blind this eyeball. This flying eyeball is about to be blinded. It's not actually true. It's dead. So is the spider. Everyone's dead. Continue on. Uh, okay. Let's see. We didn't get anything out of that one. That was not what I thought was going to happen. Let's check behind the waterfall. Ooh, we find a relic. Every enemy starts with three exploitable. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. Let's fucking do it. Hell yeah. Find a hidden treasure behind the waterfall. Thank you. And it's pig time. Pig 30. This is where I'm glad we don't have the relic that turns all the black bombs into red bombs. Because this level gets real scary when you do that. Real, real scary. Fucking A, that pig did 800 fucking damage. And it's making me a lot of money. Fuck yes. That was a lot of fucking damage too. That was like 500, 630 damage from the ballad. God damn. Chop. Okay. Final set of enemies here. Final two. Is that enough to kill? It is enough to kill. Hell yes. Jack Orb Lantern. Instead of exiting the peg board, it'll go back to the tap. I don't think we need that. Probably could have taken Ballad. Uh, but I don't think we need it, really. I think we kind of got enough of... Uh, all the stuff we're looking for. I don't think we need to duplicate anything. Immune to damage while reloading. Cool. We do enjoy reloading thanks to our uh thanks to our ability to heal every time we reload. Get that extra ball illusion there. I think that'll be important against all these exploding sons of bitches. Free crit. Although that's not very good damage. Ooh, I don't like this. Okay, well, I should be able to kill at least the first one and the second one, actually. Kill all the ones on the screen. Fuck yes. That worked out perfectly. Love that for me. There we go. Okay, I does look like I still took damage there, but I might have just not gotten the Balusion roll. Took damage there. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's go ahead and heal again. Who am I facing? I haven't even looked. It is the bomb or the uh, not the bomb, the um, cube boss. So I think I will buy that. Might as well buy another spin S. I can upgrade you. I can upgrade you. Uh, I don't need more crits or the ability to trigger more crits. I can already do that really, really well. I will hang out and get some more cash because it helps one of my orbs do more damage it's only 78 damage but you know what not bad 78 guaranteed damage is pretty freaking good if you ask me <clears throat> Ooh, that one's at 500 600 well i guess no six seven eight nine hundred since it did 100 to each of the uh cubes in there 
Some more bombs happening. Let's go. Lots of bombs. All the bombs. Oh my god. Fuck yes. Good damage. Good damage. All right, let's get a big attack here. Come on. Fall through, fall through. Yeah, I like when they get kind of, you know, obviously I like this, but when they get fucking pin pinned between the two of them, they just start rolling around, rattling around like crazy in there. That's what I look and that's what I look for. All right. Uh, should be lots of extra coins coming my way here soon, which will make this pig worth a lot of damage. It's already worth 414, which is pretty impressive. And uh, yeah, I mean, oof, I am taking big damage though. I don't like that. Nice, got the crit activation, which means this is gonna be a thousand damage right now. And uh, 500 for the one behind him. Oh no, never mind, because uh, it wasn't a projectile. Luckily, Ballusion triggers once. Come on, Darkness Eater Ball. Get some blind on him. Get some, get some blind on him. Okay, here's an... Ooh, 2,000 damage. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have the uh, transferency, so it won't go through. But we do take out another one of the cubes. And we dodge an attack there. Beautiful. Come on. Okay, that was decent damage. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, uh. Okay, all right. Uh, this is a horrible orb to have right here, but hopefully we can make it work. Come on. Ah, oh, damn. Come on, come on, come on. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Oh, I have one health. Oh, but I healed to seven. And they miss both. Oh, that's huge. This is my chance. This is my chance. I don't know if it's going to be enough. He's going to attack me, though. Oh, we dodge. We dodge. Come on. Oh, I need 500 damage. Come on. No, I don't think that's enough. Oh, it's enough. Hey, just barely pulled it out. Oh, wow. Holy hell, had seven health left at the end of that. Uh, man, I forgot how much I love Peglin. I got to play some more of this. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Got all sorts of new orbs and relics uh, already, and there's more to discover. So if you did enjoy that video, please hit that like button. If you enjoy content like this, go ahead and subscribe. I put out a new video every single day. If you have any comments on this game or any other games you'd like to see me play, please let me know because uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you want to interact further with the Herrenstein Bear community, make sure you're clicking that link down in the description to get access to our member exclusive discord, early access to the videos I post and exclusive access to members only video at our highest tier. You can even get a shout out in every single video I make like Jacob Burns. Thank you so much, Jacob. You're amazing. Thank you for your support to everyone else who's been liking, watching, commenting and subscribing. You're awesome as well. So keep it up. And until next time, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you then. Bye.